fill your boots. Hammond flouts Tory manifesto as he launches brazen tax raid on millions of self-employed workers and savers to pump pounds to be in into social care and education and pre-Brexit budget. Philip Hammond pumped pounds to billion into social care and signaled a major education shake-up in his first budget today, but funded it with a huge tax raid on the self-employed and savers. With potentially just a week to go before Theresa May formally launches the Brexit process, the Chancellor hailed the way the economy had confounded the doom-laden warnings of Project Fear. Unveiling dramatically upgraded forecasts for UK PLZ, he promised the country would be stronger and fairer after we cut ties with Brussels. But he smashed a Tory manifesto pledged by hiking national insurance contributions for more than 2.4 million self-employed to raise around pounds 650 million a year. On average people will pay £240 more annually due to what was dubbed the sole trader tax. Some 2 million shareholders, most of them low or middle earners, will also be hit by slashing the rate of dividend allowance, drumming up an extra pounds 900 million annually for the Treasury. Together the tax rates ring in around pounds or dot 6 billion by 2021 to 22. The immediate row over the Conservative manifesto led some to claim today's budget would kill off any speculation Mrs May might force an early election to take advantage of Labour's dire ratings under Jeremy Corbyn. Mr Hammond told the Commons the budget was building the foundations of a stronger, fairer, more global Britain. But he said debt remains too high, productivity too low and too many families were feeling the squeeze. Our job is not done, he added. The Chancellor insisted the Tory government would not saddle our children with huge debts and would take tough decisions to balance the books. The cost of using a mobile phone abroad is about to soar by 20% after the budget adds back to calls, texts and data used overseas. The cost of using a mobile phone abroad is set to soar by 20% after the Chancellor slapped back on roaming charges. Philip Hammond's budget announcement means charges for calls texts and data outside the EU soon will cost 20% more. And the budget does not specify whether the hike will apply inside EU countries after 2019 when Britain is due to Brexit. Inside the EU, roaming charges due to be abolished. In the budget speech, Mr Hammond said the change was to bring Britain into line with international standards. He included the measure, which kicks in later this year and will raise pounds 65 million a year for the Treasury from 2018 over 19, as part of his tax avoidance strategy.